Hey everybody, this is Perry Seaman. I made some gifts for my brother Parker this year and thought I'd shoot a little video to show him and it turned out so nice that now I'm thinking I'll just share it with the world on YouTube. Um, I hope you'll forgive the very low production quality. I didn't get fixed up at all. <laughs> I'm in my dirty office and uh, you know out in the shop. Uh, certainly not um, with the production quality that YouTube has gotten up to uh, nowadays, which sounds kind of funny now to say it. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy it any, anyhow. And uh, Parker, to you, Merry Christmas, and I hope you enjoy it as well. Uh, if you like the videos, like them, subscribe. I'd like to put out some content uh, more often. Thank you. Parker, I thought I'd show you how I made your, uh, your gift this year, the little gun targets. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know, you like tools, so let's go through it. So after giving it some thought for a while, I decided to um, look around the internet, grab some silhouette files. So I was thinking about like what kind of things you might like on your little gun targets. And uh, I know I thought about pine cones because you like pine cones. And I thought about uh, a little cowboy type figure. And the best thing I could think of was Yosemite Sam because I knew that you know, I was looking for things that had to be <clears throat> kind of like cut out that I could cut out at a certain height and width and not have too many details in there to make them uh, you know, not work out accurately. And, um, you know, and things that were available and could be made into a basic like silhouette type image real easily. So I grabbed those couple items, found some decent ones online. <clears throat> and the first thing I did was pull them into my vinyl cut software that I use with, um, I have a Prism Cut P28 vinyl cutter that we use for a business. And I pulled that stuff out, put it into that vinyl software, <clears throat> got it to the right size that I wanted, cut a couple stickers on them just to see what they looked like, and then decided to, well, I exported them into a DXF format. The DXF format has sizes associated with it, so I knew that I could make a vinyl sticker and a steel plasma cut part that would match in size. So that's how we started. So uh, here is Yosemite Sam, and here's the pine cone. Um, in this software, it'll actually take this, like an image off the internet, and it can turn it into this just black and white file. And then it can trace out around the edges of the file and create a cut file that the vinyl cutter can use. And also, like I said before, I can export a DXF file, which is like a special drawing file that the plasma cutter can use. And they'll match in size, which is pretty cool. Okay, so now that I had the images I want and I could cut them out of vinyl and I had the matching DXF file to get the right size um, file for doing the plasma cutting. I also knew that I wanted to hang these up on something so I needed some kind of little hook. So I went into a 3D CAD program called Alibre that I use and I basically just drew up a little hook. Um, I want the targets to hang at an angle so that when you shoot them uh, the bullets ricochet down into the dirt instead of like kind of breaking up into pieces and potentially coming back at you. So I made a 10 degree angle inside the, uh, you know, in this little hook and I built it long and I made up like a section of it that I could weld to the back of the, uh, of the little gun targets. Uh, so I wanted to have these ready so that whenever I went out to cut out stuff in the plasma machine, I could do it all at once. Okay, so now if we're keeping track, uh, we, you know, we have files and they work with vinyl cutting and, and we have DXF files that are the same size that will work with our plasma cutting. And we've created these little hooks and we've, I actually went and uh, exported like a, a 2D picture of those as a DXF file, which is a file that contains dimensional data. And <clears throat> the next step is we have to put this through a, a manufacturing program that will take all these shapes and things that we have and we'll turn them into language that the CNC plasma cutter can understand. So I use a software called SheetCam TNG, uh, which I've owned for almost 20 years, I think. And uh, uh, it's a really good program for doing this and it helps you nest the parts around so that they fit on your material. So what you're seeing on the screen is just a screenshot of that particular program. The little green lines that are around the outer perimeters of the items are the lines, you know, the areas where the plasma will cut. I changed some layers around so that it will not cut holes in the center where all the extra features are. I just want to cut out the, uh, the external boundaries. And uh, once that's done, it's time to start cutting stuff. Once you have your files, you head out to your trusty plasma machine, turn things on. 
you open up your cutting. You plug in your data, a little, uh, little thumb drive there, and then we're gonna open this up. Open. Gun targets, Parker's gun targets right there. All right, now we got a file. We're gonna hit the e-stop, which should turn this on. We'll run this over. We're cutting a second set right now. We're gonna cut them right about oh about there. Maybe we'll bump over just a little more. All right, now we have zero x zero y, and we're gonna do a quick little touch off. Okay, I'm gonna come up on zero x. Now we're all zeroed out, and we got our pattern loaded. We're going to turn on our plasma machine, put on our safety gear. Okay, now that the exciting part's done with the plasma cutter, we have to chip off the little bit of slag that is inevitable in plasma cutting. And now we take the parts over to the bench grinder with a wire wheel just to kind of clean up the edges a bit. Prepare things for the welding. Here's a nice uh, little shot of some simple welding, but for Parker's benefit, I'm using my Snap-on YA212 welder. I'm using uh, about three quarter scale, so being a 250 amp welder, I would think that's about 150 amps or so. Uh, turned out to be a pretty nice setup for quarter inch steel. Uh, the first set I made, I actually used some of the 90 degree magnet things to hold the little brackets in place. Uh, but I find that when you weld on one side and the weld pools, it kind of shrinks and leans them over a little bit anyway. It's better just to put them together uh, by eye, I think. So I just kind of lined these up by, by eye, held them down with one hand with a glove on, and welded them down with three little uh, quarter inch or so diameter tack welds, one on one side, two on the other. After a quick little trip to the bench grinder again to clean up the welded stuff, uh, here they are hanging on the stand. I didn't get any video of making, making the stand. Um, basically, it's just some 3 8 diameter rebar. I made a simple little kind of gantry out of it to hang these off of. One of the uh, desired traits of this project was that it was low to the ground since they don't have much of a backstop at Parker's house. And uh, so we kept it low to the ground and just made it kind of wide so we could put four of these little targets on there at a time. Um, so here they are. And after that, we I cleaned them up a bit and decided to spray paint them black. So this is where the same size uh, plasma cut file and the same size vinyl cut file come together. So I'm weeding out the extra vinyl here. What I did was uh, have four of these, two Yosemite Sam's and two pine cones. So I, on one of them, yeah, I put the little details in and on the other, I put like the perimeter vinyl in, I guess you would say. So this is just, you know, you got a moment or so here of me weeding out the extra pieces and using some transfer paper to put the vinyl onto the actual painted uh, targets at this point. Uh, I think they turn out pretty nice, actually.
Well, so there you have it. Uh, you know, this little project I kind of thought about for a week or two, but in reality it only took a few hours once I got down to it. Um, I think they turned out great. The vinyl, of course, when you start shooting at it, will get destroyed, uh, but that's okay. You know, it just adds a nice little finishing touch, and it wasn't too bad to do. Uh, Merry Christmas to you, Parker, and hope you enjoyed the video for you know how your gift was made. And um, for the rest of you, thanks for watching.